And the scenes around the city tonight, still a weird and hard to believe view. This is Phoenix Hill on the curve of a rebound, now mostly vacant. Streets in the highlands of Louisville are usually full of restaurants, bars, and patrons now gone. New Lou, one of the hottest neighborhoods going, open for carryout, but no longer the big crowds. And Louisville's Main Street resembling what it looked like around here in the 1970s. Not the center of tourism, it really is today. Doors are shutting down around the city as more businesses are now ordered to close. Gyms, exercise facilities, theaters, and hair salons are among the new businesses. Governor Andy Bashir ordered to shut down by 5 tomorrow. The 19's Tyler Emery checked in with several of the stunned businesses tonight on the governor's new list, and she's live tonight with their reaction. Tyler? Doug, I'm here tonight on Market Street near downtown and even earlier this afternoon, this street normally filled with people coming in and out of businesses was nearly empty, likely a sign of what's to come as tomorrow even more shops start to close their doors. The sounds of people filling most places like gyms. They just don't know when it's going to be back open. Or hair salons will soon turn quiet. So we knew it was coming. Knowing they were next on the list, likely ordered to close. Co-owners of Cobalt Hair Lab say they made the call first. We came in, we were prepared to work as normal, but then we started thinking about it and it's like, you know, this is just the right thing to do. Yeah. Protect our guests, protect our stylists, protect our community. Already increasing cleaning and disinfecting after each customer. The Nulu Hair Salon knew it wasn't enough and chose to close Tuesday morning. You don't want to succumb to the fear, but it's kind of hard not to. Hair salons, nail salons, barber shops, theaters, concert venues, all ordered by Governor Andy Bashir to close down starting Wednesday at 5 p.m. Other recreational businesses like gyms also on the list. Uh, somewhat worrisome just because uh, this is my livelihood. Co-owner of CrossFit Covalence Dan Bunavong says he's owned his local fitness space for eight years. It's a pretty emotional thing and I'm pretty sure it's going to be emotional for most of our members. Business owners say one of the worst parts is the uncertainty of how long the closure could last. And I think in the long run this will be one of our finest moments, not only as a community but as a city. Holding hope small businesses will bounce back. We'll get through this. We as a whole are going through something pretty, pretty concerning and I think we should just Try to stay fit when the sun shines, go outside, if you, or if you like to dance in the rain, you can do that too. Now again, to reiterate, Governor Andy Bashir has ordered all businesses where people could congregate to close starting tomorrow at 5 p.m. And he specifically named theaters, concert venues, gyms, hair salons, and nail salons. Reporting live tonight for the night team, I'm Tyler Emery. All right, Tyler, thank you very much. Live downtown on Market Street. The following are exempt and will stay open because they are considered critical as the community moves forward in combating coronavirus. Those include places like grocery stores, pharmacies, auto repair, health care facilities, post offices, banks, gas stations, and vet clinics, and restaurants offering carry out or delivery will be allowed to stay open. Right now, if you're a small business owner, we know you probably had a lot, have a lot of unanswered questions even at this late hour, so we've put together some resources for you that have come in so far. We'll send you a link right away to those resources. All you need to do is text the word small biz, again text only to 502-582-7220.